In 2022, Dog the Bounty Hunter closed a major chapter in his life when he sold the Colorado home he shared with his late wife, Beth. This property offered six bedrooms, five baths, and sat on over nine acres of land in Castle Rock. At the time, Dog and his current wife, Francie, moved to Marco Island in Florida, where they've been living ever since. The couple's often spotted around the island enjoying meals at places like Sammy's Pizza and Grill, which is one of their regular joints. Locals agree that Dog and Francie are some of the nicest people, so it appears they're blending in just fine. Dwayne, Dog the Bounty Hunter Chapman, is known for his adventurous career as a bounty hunter, as well as for his high-profile reality TV shows. Dog's relationship with his late wife, Beth Chapman, was well documented on TV and viewers felt like they knew the couple. The two married in 2006 and their strong bond was clear both in their personal lives and their career. Beth, who was not only Dog's partner in life but also in his bounty hunting business, became a beloved figure in her own right. The Chapman's shared home in Castle Rock, Colorado was a huge part of their lives as well. Purchased in 2009 for $750,000, the sprawling estate featured six bedrooms, five bathrooms, and extensive grounds. It became a backdrop for their reality TV shows like Dog the Bounty Hunter, Dog and Beth on the Hunt, and Dogs Most Wanted. When it comes to family, Dog is also father to 13 children, all of whom he welcomed from six different relationships two children he had with Beth. Beth Chapman's battle with throat cancer was a heartbreaking chapter in their lives. Despite her fight against the disease, Beth passed away in June 2019. After Beth's passing, Dog found new beginnings with Francie Frayne. The couple met about six months after Beth's death and married in 2021. Francie, who also experienced the loss of her own spouse, found a kindred spirit in Dog. In 2022, Dog sold his longtime Colorado estate that he bought with his late wife, Beth, back in 2009. The one-time couple paid 750 k back then, while this time around, he got $1.59 million for the property. Dog and his current wife, Francie, started a new chapter and moved to Florida around that time. Dog said about the move, I love Colorado. It'll always hold a special place for Francie and me. We've relocated to sunny Florida and are enjoying the warmer weather. The property, which features six bedrooms and five bathrooms, sits on over nine acres in Castle Rock, Colorado, more specifically in the Keene Ranch community. Dog's former home span 6,200 square feet and included an updated kitchen with granite counters as well as a great room with floor-to-ceiling windows, exposed beams, and a cozy fireplace. Another highlight of the home was the expansive deck, which gave amazing panoramic mountain views and would be the perfect spot to watch some Colorado sunsets. Dog's former master suite bedroom boasted dual closets, a fireplace, vaulted ceilings, and a deck. Well, there was also an ensuite bath. Love to unwind in a bubble bath? Well, the master bath included a deep soaking tub positioned perfectly in front of another fireplace. The kitchen was also recently updated with stainless steel appliances, a coffee bar, and a new range. Additional amenities here included a walkout lower level with a wet bar, a hot tub sheltered by an overhang, a home theater, a laundry or crafting room, and a storage room. This home was often featured in Dog's reality shows, including Dog the Bounty Hunter, Dog and Beth on the Hunt, and Dog's Most Wanted. It was also the residence where he lived with his late wife, Beth, for a decade before her battle with cancer ended at age 51. The listing agent, Karen Bevel, said, I was incredibly impressed when I first met Dog. He's such a kind and personable man, eager to help with the final preparations for the ranch sale. Dog was fantastic, mowing the front acres and assisting Francie with the challenging tasks of sorting and moving. While that Colorado home provided many memories for Dog, it was time for a new chapter. So he and his current wife, Francie, moved down to Florida a couple of years ago. Francie joked that after spending several years in Hawaii, Dog wasn't keen on enduring Colorado's cold winters for too long. Since relocating to Marco Island, Florida, the couple has become deeply involved in the community, mainly with various churches across Naples. Francie shared in an interview how warmly they were received and embraced by the locals. She said, 
The people here are simply wonderful and we're beginning to build a community and get involved. Everyone has been incredibly welcoming and I'm amazed at how supportive people have been of what we're doing. So why did they choose Marco Island? Francie said there were a handful of reasons like her close friend, author Katie Souza. After visiting multiple times to speak at Susan Ministries and appearing on Fate TV, they connected with local groups helping abused and trafficked women. Francie continued, we started feeling like God was leading us here to merge our ministries, Katie's ministry and the Dog Foundation. We created the House of Bounty and felt a calling to come here to aid abused and trafficked women. So we decided to move to Florida, especially since Faith TV is based in Marco. Dog and Francie are currently working on acquiring five acres in Naples to establish one of the first houses of Bounty. The initiative has already received a lot of support, including outreach from the Marco Island community. While we don't know exactly what Dog's current home in Florida is like, it's clear that his new home and he and his wife Francie are already giving back and making a difference. That wraps up our look into where Dog the Bounty Hunter calls home. Thanks for watching. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!